Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, where to find the most lead. Lead is used for ammo and boosting radiation resistance in armor and apparel. Uh, there will be lots of walking, no survival tents, carry weight boosters, or scrap kits involved. So let's jump right into it. First place we're going to go is we're going to look at vendors. The most reliable place I find is the White Springs Mall. Now in the mall, there is a store, uh, black powder, and if you go to this robot, he'll have bulk lead on him, five of them. Another place in here is called the Creekside Lodge, and this robot right here will have bulk lead as well. He didn't have it on this time, but each bulk lead is worth 20 uh, lead each. So if you get 10, which you normally would, you'll have 200 lead in a matter of seconds. Now we're going to get into the weights. So the first location we're going to go to is the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. And if you follow me, you'll find um, there's a whole bunch of weights in the uh, yard in the back of the penitentiary. Watch out for the floaters and the super mutants while you're back here. Now, weights weigh a lot, so 90% of the time you're going to be overweight. So a lot of these places, I'm going to show you where all the workbenches are so that you don't have to worry about a survival tent, a carry weight booster, or a scrap kit. So once you've collected all of these and kill this floater, you're going to come around to this building right over here. See how slow I'm walking? Oh, it's awful. I hate being overweight. And there's a power um, armor station in the back here that you can scrap off of. Now our next location we're going to go to is the Green Country Lodge. And that one is uh, near Flatwoods. Once you get here, you're gonna come down these stairs over here in the back. And in this room on the left, there's weight benches. You're gonna collect all of the weights. You're gonna see a pattern here because there's gonna be lots of weights that we're gonna be collecting. Now, like I said, you're gonna be overweight. <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna have to walk down to Flatwoods in about two seconds. Make sure you collect all the weights before you leave. <laughs> they kind of hide a little bit. I sped up this video a little bit just so that you guys didn't have to watch me stumble all the way to Flatwoods. <laughs> and once you get to this building here, there's paint here and a tin can and that's also lead. And that paint can up there. And we're going to scrap all of that. Next location is Orwell Orchard, Orchard, sorry, butchered that. And it's just south of us a bit. And we're gonna go into their bomb shelter. Once you get here, there are gonna be robots, but I noticed that they were friendly. I don't know if that was just a glitch or what, because the first time I went in here, I killed them instantly because you know how dangerous robots are right now. <laughs> and you're gonna go into the basement of this house. And once you load in here, down the stairs on the left, there's only a few down here, but it all adds up. And once again, you're going to be overweight. So once you collect all of the weights, we're going to go right back up those stairs. All the way out of the house. I literally had to double check that this robot was not going to kill me. And you're going to go into this building on the left. There is a combination wrench. Oh, no, it's not. It's a t tin can. Sorry. Um, on this bench. And then there's a workbench right there for you to scrap everything. Next location is the Charleston Fire Department. This is a really well-known spot for weights. So once you get in here... 
you're gonna go to the front desk and you're gonna go in behind down this hallway to the left and left again and always put that light on just so you can see all of them I almost missed a couple Now you're going to come back out here. The workbench is over by the fire trucks. And this robot. This is where the combination wrench is. And then you can scrap right there. Our next spot is the sledge works. There's going to be some blood eagles here, so be careful. But if you can fly in there like I did, I didn't have a problem with them until I came out. So once you get in here, you're going to go to the left. And you're going to find the Tinker's Workbench on your left. Right beside that, there's a whole bunch of weights on this shelf. And then you can scrap them right there. Next location is going to be the kill box. Once you get here, you're going to go kind of towards the right of the uh, manor and you're going to go into the back without getting stuck on everything like I always do. <laughs> Ooh, and watch out for those blood eagles. And you're going to find the stairs on the left. And right in this little corner, there's some weights. Now, if you need a workbench, it's right around the back side. For most of these, there's a, a workbench pretty close by, but there's a couple that are a little bit further away. Just thought I'd let you know. Now, for our next spot, we can just walk over to the um, Hornwright Summer Villa. And we're going to get an access key card in the basement for the next location after this. Watch out for those liberators. So once you kill the liberators, you're going to jump down, and right on this table is the access card, and it's actually for the Hornwright estate. So we're going to pick that up, kill this liberator, and pick up that uh, makeshift battery, because that has lead as well. You're going to go back up the stairs, and I have a little um, secret hidden spot where there's more lead before we fast travel. It's not really secret, but I'm going to say it is. <laughs> In here, there's going to be three more liberators. Make sure you kill them, but don't make them explode too close to that desk over there on the right, because that's where uh, the lead is. And I had a hard time um, getting it once it exploded, because it went really far back. So there's four uh, rat poison here, and each one of those is worth five lead. And if you're an irradiated sugar bombs fan, there's two on that desk for you as well. So next we're going to go to the Hornwright Estate. And this is the place we needed the access card. So once you get to the elevator, you're going to scan that access card into the card reader. And it's going to allow you to go up to the top floor. Once you get up to the top floor, you're going to go to the left. And then the right, past the pool table, past the staircase, and into this doorway. Which is where the... Uh, weights will be.
I always do like a double take when I get in here just to make sure that I got all of the weights. And because you'll be overweight, you can't fast travel away, so we're going to go back down the stairs and back into the elevator, back down to the ground floor. Once you get to the ground floor, you're going to go around the building to the back side, out this door, and there's your Tinker's workbench right there waiting for you. Our next location is the Volt Tech University. And once you get here, you're not going to go into the main building. You're going to go into the building on the left side right here. This is tricky to get through. So you're going to go through there, down all the way to the end of this hallway, and to the right. And there's only one way through here, but you're going to look for the training vault, the training vault uh, entrance, sorry. And you're just going to go door to door until you get to the um, big open uh area. You'll understand once you get there. Right here. And over here on the right, there's some more weights. Now I read online some some of them said that there's two gyms. I could only find one. If anyone can confirm that in the comments, that would be fantastic. And if you're overweight at this point and you haven't been scrapping this whole time, I'm just going to show you where the closest scrap spot is. I'm not overweight at this point, but you never know if someone's going to be at this point. So you're going to climb your way back up to the beginning again. You can actually run past these robots. They won't hurt you right away. <laughs> but uh, once you get back outside, you're going to go over towards Mama Dolce's, which is right in front of us. But Mama Dolce's doesn't actually have a workbench, so you're gonna go to the left instead of towards Mama Dolce's. And into the shed at the back, of course I got stuck. <laughs> and watch out though, because it says on here, stay back, because there is a trap. Be careful, you'll understand in a second. And the workbench is right here. Now always look around the workbenches because I went to load my map here and I realized that there is a tin can here, a rat poison, and a makeshift battery. So that adds more to your uh, lead. And then I had to look everywhere else just to make sure. <laughs> Okay, our next place is a little bit different. It's not going to be weights. It's the treetops. It's right below Big Bob's, uh, Big B's rest stop. Sorry, Big Bob's. Anyways, <laughs> um, you're going to find a friendly sloth here, and you're just going to climb up this tree here. There's going to be wooden blocks, uh, makeshift batteries. Um, what else is there? Paint. Paint has the lead as well. Yeah, I just sped it up a bit. But you just climb each level looking for things. It took a bit to actually get to where the stuff is. There we go. There's the wood and the toy car has lead in it as well. And you wouldn't believe how much um, lead you actually come away with from this place. There's a rat poison over here. And a tin can. And there's a workbench inside of the uh, tree house, I guess you could call it, um, for you to scrap as well, which is awesome. Oh, a couple of them, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. There's your uh, blue paint. I search everything, if you haven't noticed that yet. 
nothing over there, but the three makeshift batteries right here. And there's blocks. I actually really struggled with one of the blocks. You'll see in a second what I mean. The struggle is so real. <laughs> Please tell me this is relatable. <laughs> I think I eventually give up on it. And then we're going to go over to the workbench and I'm going to show you how much lead you actually pick up from the treetops, which is, I thought was amazing. I didn't think it was as much as I got. There's a workbench right beside me. I didn't even notice, but you actually end up with 51 lead just from this tree, which I thought was pretty high. So that's an awesome spot. Plus there's a lot of goodies on that tree actually in general. Our next locations, we're gonna start going into the silos. So start off with Site Charlie. And this is how you get in there if you don't know. If you're not a higher enough level to get into the silos, you'll have to uh, finish the main quest first in order to get into the silo. Or any of the silos, I should say. And these ghouls just would not let me hit that button. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then once you're in here, you're going to want um, your legendary perk Master Infiltrator on so that you can turn off the turrets without having to hack into the terminal. So that's what it looks like right there. Um, if you don't have that, I wouldn't recommend... I mean, you could come in here and just um, obliterate all of the turrets, but the turrets are pretty strong right now, so I wouldn't recommend coming in here. But if you want to risk it, by all means. <laughs> so once you got that hooked up, you're going to come in here, and you're going to go to this terminal over here, and you're going to hack into it without having to find the words uh, in the hack. And it's just going to let you turn off the turrets and deactivate them. Once you get in, watch out for those robots. You won't have to worry about the turrets because you've turned them off. And there's usually about four, maybe four uh, robots altogether. I usually kill the robots first and then go looking for the lead. It's all in one room, so it's awesome. So it's right across, and you'll see the bikes, and then all the lead is here. And it's like that in every silo, but I'm going to show you every silo, only because there's no workbench in any of the silos, unless you further the quest to launch a nuke. Um, so I'm going to show you where to travel to after you've picked up all of them in each of the silos. Make sure you got it all. And you're gonna go back to the elevator, making sure the robots are gone. <laughs> so we're at Site Charlie and the closest thing, uh, the closest place with, um, a workbench is actually the train station. So we're gonna work our way over there. I sped it up a bit because it would take ages for me to get over there um, over encumbered.
And now we're at the trade station. You're going to turn left, and there's a weapons workbench for you to scrap. On to the next silo. We're going to go to Site Alpha. This is how you get into the silo. And you've already had Ma Master Infiltrator on at this point, so you won't have to worry about putting that on again. You're going to get the turret going, or the turrets off, sorry. <laughs> I ended up dying because of a Mr. Handy, so beware of those guys, because um, you'll have to come back and pick up your loot like I just did. <laughs> but same thing, same spots. Nothing changes in each of the silos, but it's more weight, more lead. Perfect. Make sure we got it all. Go back up to the elevator. And for this one, you're going to have to walk over to the satellite array. You're just going to follow the road, but keep to the cliff side. And you start working your way to the right. And there's a uh, weapons workbench over here as well. Watch out for the super mutants and uh, mutant hounds that are over here while you're doing that. Okay, we're going to go to Site Bravo next. And do the exact same thing. Go into the, the terminal. Turn off the turrets once you get in here. Kill all the robots first and pick up more weights. This one's probably the furthest away from anything that has a, uh, a workbench, but once you get out here, out the elevator, you're going to pick up those paint cans because they have lead in them, and you're going to make your way to the right a little bit till you hit a road, because we're going to try to get to Grafton Steel. I was surprised the the um, the plant there doesn't have anything, but then you can avoid all the scorched that are over there. Or if you want to cause a ruckus, go ahead. <laughs> Once again, I sped up this video just so that you could see how long it takes to get to Graft and Steel. <laughs> I got a little lost in here, don't uh, don't judge. <laughs> but you will eventually find a workbench. I thought it was this building over here, but it's actually the one behind me right now. I was so confused, because I thought that was the building I went into the last time, but it's actually this one right here. And there's a workbench. Right up here. You might have to kill some super mutants too while you're at it. Once you're done that, you're going to go home and you're going to get into a power armor. Your T-65 will work, your excavator, any kind of power armor. Because it'll save you from falling. Because <laughs> we're going to go to the uh, monorail elevator next. And it is quite high up. So if you don't know where that is, it's over here, just above Fort Defiance. 
well, to the left of Fort Defiance, sorry. Once you get here, you're going to go into these elevators on your left. And you're going to go up to the top floor. Once you get up here, you're going to climb all the way up. And now you'll know why <laughs> that you'll want to be in a power armor. I have died so many times off of here, it's ridiculous. Because I forgot putting a power armor on would be a good idea. <laughs> it's just those two spots and then you're just going to climb back over. See, there's Fort Defiance right below us. We're going to jump in that direction because that's where we're going to go for the workshop. This one takes a bit to get to, too. Shout out to Redman for purchasing my stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is Fort Defiance, and you're just going to go in the front door once you kill a couple Scorched. Now, this one is a tricky one because if you don't have uh, one of the quests done, you can't get into this grid that you're about to see into the elevator. So if you don't have that quest done, I'm going to link in the description how to get that quest done so that you can go up into this elevator. If you have it done, you can go up to the third floor and there'll be a workbench up there. Once you get up here to the left, pick a workbench of your choosing. There's a bunch. Now out of all of those places I just showed you, I'm going to show you how much lead that you will get at the end of just doing that without Lucky Hole Mind. It's over a thousand, a thousand and forty-six. That's a pretty good run. <laughs> um, so if you would like to take it a step further, we're gonna go to the Lucky Hole Mine and we're gonna get even more lead. Lucky Hole Mine is a little bit changed since, but here it is on the map. It's just below the monorail. And we're gonna get into an excavator. Now, People will say that Lucky Hole Mine's broken, but they've changed the way that you pick up the lead ore. Um, if you are doing it without a power armor, it, without the excavator, um, you'll only pick up one at a time. They've changed it so that if you're in an excavator, you get four times the amount. It used to be where you could click excessively and then just see what you got until it disappeared off the wall, but now they've changed it. So. A lot of people say that Lucky Hole Mine's broken or the excavator's broken, but it's still worth it if you do this run all together. So you may have to kill some cultists before you get in here, but once you get in, I sped up this video because it can take a bit of time to get through, but you're going to um, want to follow it down until you get to the cultists. I kill them all first and then you'll see where I collect some of the lead. So I'm just going to let you guys watch. Most people are familiar with this, but if you'd like me to uh, make a video of slowed down going through uh, Lucky Hole Mine, I will gladly do that. So leave me a comment in the, the comment section um, to let me know if you want me to do that. used to walk out of here with like over 400 lead ore, but now you walk out with maybe 150. There's also crystal in here. Be careful not to pick up the crystal instead of thinking it's the lead ore. Just a heads up. There's more lead ore than there is crystal in here.
And I always kind of check each wall. Like, I'll check behind me as I go, too. You'll notice I turn around quite a bit in here. Because I'm afraid I'm going to miss one. That was crystal. That one's crystal vein, and it always gets me every time. And there's usually ants or crickets down here as opposed to the cultists as well. You can spend like a good like 15 to 20 minutes down here trying to find it all. And also don't forget this bin right here. It has more lead ore. Okay, once you've done your run, I end up with 160 lead ore. So we're going to go home and we're going to smelt it. Once you get home, I always pick up my waste acid as soon as I get home. That's like my routine so that I keep up with my waste acid. Um, we're going to change our perks. So we're going to take off Bloody Mess and we're going to put on Super Duper. Then you're going to go over to your chemistry bench. You're going to get out of your power armor first. Oops. And go down to smelting and lead ore. Or lead scrap. Um, I'm very superstitious about the super duper going off. I always do one at a time. So here I am speeding it up again for you guys. <laughs> I don't know if it works. I don't know if anybody else has a superstition. But let me know. I'm sure I'm not the only one. And then once we're done all that, we're going to see how much lead ore we have all together. And with the Lucky Hole Mine plus the route I showed you, 1,586 is our final amount just from that one run. So I think Lucky Hole Mine is worth it because you just got an extra like 500 lead ore or lead scrap afterwards. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment in of where you want me to look up next or what items you want me to look for next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.